Welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about femoral nerve, anatomy, pain presentation, blocks, and treatment. So the femoral nerve originate from the lumbar plexus, namely from L2, 3, and 4, um, on the posterior abdominal wall, and enter the femoral triangle of the thigh by passing underneath the inguinal ligament. The femoral nerve uh, emerge between the psoas and iliacus muscle, as you see here, and pass underneath the inguinal ligament. Here you will see in the femoral triangle, the femoral nerve uh, lies on the lateral side of the femoral artery and it is outside the femoral sheath and I will show you more uh, uh, clear pictures. The femoral nerve provide motor branches to the knee extensor muscles uh, to the knee extensor muscles uh, namely the quadriceps muscles and sensation to the anterior thigh femur bone, knee joint, and medial leg. In the femoral triangle, it gives branches, uh, and these branches mainly travel underneath the rectus femoris and, of course, the sartorius, except the anterior cutaneous branch. So if you notice here, the rectus femoris is removed, the sartorius removed, so you are seeing the muscular um, branches. Now, as you see here uh, in the thigh, it gives you a lot of branches. The main branch that travel all the way down is the saphenous nerve. So the saphenous nerve is the continuation of the femoral nerve. And you see it gives you small branches for muscles. This is called the muscular uh, branches which will we go on details over them. Then in the leg, the saphenous nerve give you infrapatellar branch and um, more smaller branches, uh, muscular branches, and then it go all the way um, to the foot. The other thing you notice here that how uh, important certain vessels, though for example, uh, this is the lateral circumflex here. So the lateral circumflex, also if you remember, is the descending brush. If you remember from my previous lecture, how they travel together, and it's an important landmark to see the vastus lateralis branch under the rectus femoris uh, running with the descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery. Now, here, um, uh, on the right side um, of the screen, um, here you will see the uh, uh, femoral nerve branches. So here is the femoral nerve and start to give you muscular branches. So sartorius, uh, pectineus. The, the more important or more relevant for us in, in the pain management, you have the saphenous nerve. And then you have the vastus medialis, intermedialis, and lateralis. Uh, this view here on the left side of the screen, it shows you the uh, fascicles in the nerve. So this is the femoral nerve. And you can imagine how many fascicles, it's a big nerve. So this become more important. Let's say, for example, we are placing um, uh, a peripheral nerve stimulator. Uh, again, peripheral nerve stimulator, different companies. But let's say you have you are placing an X nerve stimulator with an electrode that's all, or only one centimeter or so. So you have to be very careful where you place it because if you place it here, that's a one centimeter. So you are stimulating different fascicles. And if, for example, if you are interested more in the saphenous and vastus uh, medialis uh, uh, fascicles, so you have to go uh, more 
median. This is why it's important to stimulate in these cases. It's not a bigger deal when you are doing an air block or putting a catheter though. This is the uh, sensory innervation of the femoral nerve. So as you see, the anterior thigh and the uh, knee, the anterior knee and the medial uh, leg. Now here, where we're seeing the relation, if you uh, focus on this area, so the relation between the femoral artery vein and the uh, uh, nerve. So notice the femoral artery vein and some lymphatic tissue, they are within something called the femoral sheath. The nerve is outside the sheath. Now all of this running on what we call the femoral triangle, which I will explain in more details. So the femoral artery and vein pass uh, inferiorly, as you see here, um, through the adductor canal, and it becomes the popliteal vessels behind the, the knee. So it leaves the uh, adductor hiatus and it goes posterior and it continues as the, in the posterior compartment as the popliteal vessels. Now, this is the femoral triangle. So the base of the triangle is the inguinal ligament. The medial border is the medial margin of the adductor longus muscle in the medial compartment of the thigh. The lateral margin is the medial margin of the sartorius muscle in the anterior compartment of the thigh. The floor is formed medially by the pectineus and adductor longus muscle in the medial compartment of the thigh and laterally by the iliopsoas muscle descending from the abdomen. The apex point inferiorly and is continuous with the uh, adductor canal which the femoral vessels pass and you have also the saphenous nerve. So this is the um, uh, femoral sheath. And as you see, again, the femoral nerve outside that. Now, this is, um, uh, you know, an axial cut here. Uh, and what's important here, so um, uh, this is medial, this is lateral. So there is a couple of fascia, very, very important. So you have the fascia lata. We went, I went through this fascia in my uh, introductory lecture. And then you have the fascia iliaca, which is from the name iliacus muscle. So it's enclosing the fascia ili um, iliaca and it goes above the nerve. So if you are doing a, a femoral nerve block, you will feel a couple of uh, pops going through the fascia lateral and fascia iliaca. That's important for you and also important to explain to the patient. Now, if you pay attention here within the femoral sheath, you see the femoral branch of the genitofemoral femoral nerve. Here, outside and more lateral, almost above the sartorius, I have a lecture on the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, but you see it's just underneath the fascia lata and above the fascia iliaca. And of course, don't forget the iliacus muscle here, very important landmark. Now, if we are placing a catheter or peripheral nerve stimulator, from my experience, it's better to go under the nerve and place it. Uh, it's more secure place, probably the migration uh, rate and the dislodgement rate is lower and you have this tight uh, space between a muscle and a, and, uh, and a nerve. So my suggestion to go below uh, the nerve and also pay attention to these physicals, especially when you are doing PNS, as I just mentioned. Now, here is another uh, view. Just note here that both the femoral artery and vein lie deep to the fascia lata again and are enclosed by the, by the uh, femoral sheath. So that's the femoral sheath. And the femoral nerve, again, outside the femoral sheath. So here more medial, you have the pectineus, uh, and, and we'll talk about that when we, uh, in, in my obturator nerve uh, video. 
So, this is um, a good information to familiarize yourself with the femoral nerve, uh, how it originates, what's its supply, how it course. Now, from pain perspective, it's, it's very important when you see a patient and you suspect femoral neuralgia. So, uh, just briefly, so the femoral nerve innervates the anterior thigh, and it's mainly, it's, uh, it's, it flicks um, uh, and, and, and innervate the uh, quadratus femoris nerve, rectus femoris, so it extends the knee, it extends the knee, and it flicks the hip. Very important when you do examination, when you're you are suspecting a nerve problem and you want to examine, so knee extension is a very important step in the examination. The sensory, um, as you know by now, the anterior thigh, the medial leg, the anterior part of the, um, of the knee, as you see the sensory innervation here. So people with femoral neuralgia or uh, femoral chrysalgia, if you wish, uh, present with neuropathic pain. It is very classic that they give you that description. It's a throbbing, it's a deep throbbing pain. Um, and of course, when you examine them, you see uh, some altered sensation and you check the patellar reflex and the knee extension. What are common causes for nerve injury? Uh, open hysterectomy, C-section, tight femoral uh, belt. I have seen multiple patients in my clinic secondary to tight femoral belt when you position them in the OR. Again, it doesn't need to be a femoral cut. It's a femoral neuropraxia. I have that. Uh, we'll go over that um, degree of nerve injury in a, in a different lecture. So during blind femoral nerve visit dissection, uh, uh, sorry, cannulation, extremely common. Um, and this is why now the practice just to use ultrasound instead of going blindly. But I still see uh, uh, every now and then I see patient who get femoral injury secondary to blind uh, cannulation for whatever reason. And of course, hip arthroplasty and arthroscopy. So let's shift gear and talk about the femoral nerve block. You know, it's one of the easiest nerve block. Um, however, there are important concepts to keep in mind. So this infographic, um, it, you can take a screenshot, you can save it somewhere, just summarize everything. But this starts from here. So here you will see um, the ultrasound probe uh, orientation. So you start from the uh, inguinal or groin inguinal crease, you put your ultrasound, and usually it's you know within two centimeter from that, just going uh, you know south or going. Uh, more um, uh, caudal, and then um, you see here, you know, your friend is really the blood vessels, so you cannot miss the femoral artery. Now, I can tell you that not every time you will see this pretty picture where you can see the two fascia, so here the fascia lata, for example. Um, However, in certain cases, I remember I did a, I did a, a case for a patient who had um, a huge lymph node and uh, a lot of swelling, lymphedema. So it's very hard to see anything. So remember, your friend is the femoral artery. If, you've, if you are lucky and you find the femoral artery, then the femoral nerve just outside that, just lateral um, to that. So here... Um, so uh, here you see the fascia lata, the fascia iliaca above the nerve, and it goes here with the iliopsoas muscle. You remember the two pop, um, and then the femoral artery. Now, sometimes what happens, you put your ultrasound, you see femoral artery, you see femoral vein, and you see the deep uh, artery of the thigh. Uh, or the Mickey Mouse sign, uh, sometimes people like to call it that way. So if you see that, you just need to go a little bit uh, north, a little bit uh, cephalic, because 
As you notice here, the nerve is not very well demarcated compared to this nerve. So just go a little bit north and you will find the femoral artery and the femoral nerve. And make sure you are not putting out of compression so you block them both. And, and then you orient your probe. So you come from lateral to medial. Again, you're going through the fascia lata, then fascia iliaca, and point to this corner, just as, as if you are going underneath the nerve, and you start to you know, uh, push your local and open up the space and chase the needle. So um, back in the days before the ultrasound became popular, people used to do this blindly with the guidance of the nerve stimulator. Now, I left this table because um, some board exams like to ask about questions. OK, if you get this contractions versus this contraction, how you adjust your needle. I'm not going to go in details in that. I have this table for you. You can look at it, especially if you are going for the board exam. Now, but ideally, you should see uh, a quadriceps femoris contraction with the patella uh, uh, pulling. So that's what I have for you today. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.